Well, it looks like it would be easier for me to pull the carburetor off. Taking this golf cart out, it was actually stored for three or four years just sitting. I put fresh gas in it and it ran but uh, not so good. If I kept full throttle it would go, but then when I'd stop it would have a hard time getting going again. So I pulled the fuel filter off thinking maybe that's clogged but it's not and now I'm going to take the fuel pump off and just check it and make sure it's not clogged at all. Let's get started! Alright, we'll pop off the air filter cover. that out of the way. Could be a dirty carburetor too. Well, it looks like it would be easier for me to pull the carburetor off. So I'll go ahead and pop that off and we'll check that anyways. Could be a cracked fuel line, too. Now with the fuel line disconnected from the carburetor right here, and that goes to the fuel pump right below it, we'll go ahead and try to run it and see if we're pumping fuel. That'll tell us if the fuel pump's any good. And we are! So I don't have to worry about the fuel pump and everything between the fuel pump and the gas tank. So I think I've got a clogged carburetor. Let's pull that off, clean it up, and see if that'll fix the problem. Alright, let's tear this apart. See what we find. Now, these adjustment screws, like this one here, I like to see where it's set. So I'm going to turn it in. There's a half a turn, one turn, one and a half, two turns. So when I take that out, I know where it's set. Two turns. So I'll just bottom it out and back it off two turns. Set that aside. Take the float bowl off. There'll be some gas in that, probably. And some dirt. There's your float. I don't know if you can see, there's some sand and all kinds of stuff in there. I'm going to go dump this and clean it out. Alright, got it dumped out. Take a rag and wipe it all out real nice. Like I said, this thing's been sitting for four years. That's not good with the unleaded gas that we have now. Usually it doesn't gum up larger carburetors like this. It'll gum up the two cycles. But take this apart and just make sure everything's good. Pull out the little needle for the float and we can remove our float. And there's our needle valve. 
I'm going to take that out just so I can clean that because that might be what's clogged. Doesn't take much. I'm gonna. There's the little needle. There's some debris that was in there. Pop that out and uh, put some carb cleaner, blow that out. Blowing out the ports, that's where the fuel line comes in. That's good and clear. I don't know if you can see through that. Our needle valve looks good. Drop that back in. There we go. Sometimes these will uh, go bad with the float, but in that case you'd be getting too much fuel. And we're not getting enough fuel, so that's not my problem. And actually this isn't a hollow, the old ones used to be uh, brass or copper, and they were hollow. This is a, just a solid float. Everything's clear. Just dropping the needle back in here, you just screw it in and snug it down. I like to go counterclockwise till I hear a click. And then clockwise to make sure I don't cross thread it. That's sitting in there nice. Snug that down. And that needle just rests against the float there. Put the pin back in. There we go. One that's closed, down, which means the bowl is full. You shouldn't be able to blow through here, which I can't. Beautiful. Bowl's nice and clean. Make sure you don't cross thread this either. Like I said, we'll take it, bottom it out, just gentle. You don't want to smash it in there. And we'll go uh, two turns out. Half, one, one and a half, two turns out. That's where it was set. Now we'll go put it back on, and hopefully we'll be all set. And the reinstall of the carburetor is just the opposite of uninstalling it. We will hook up the fuel line. Good. Slide this back in. We'll put a little lubricant on there so it slides in easy. Beautiful. Oh, you can put that. 
choke back, I mean the throttle lever back on and slide that in place. There we go. Beautiful. And Fly on, beautiful. Little metal clip that goes over that to hold it on. There we go. And put our choke back on. Test the choke. Beautiful. There we go. Okay. This down. for our test drive. subscribing. I look forward to helping you with other projects online.